Hey everybody, Mr. Livesay here. I wanted to record a couple videos to help you guys learn Jingle Bells. Some classes are in different places, and so you may have gotten this lesson in class, but I wanted to make sure that in case anyone was absent or on vacation, or if you just needed a review, that you're able to play Jingle Bells over the Thanksgiving break. Jingle Bells is a Thanksgiving song, after all. So this first video is going to help us with the chorus, which is the Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. First thing you'll need to do, up above my head, there's a link. Click it. It'll bring you to this page, which is where we're going to use, which is where we'll get our music. When I teach Jingle Bells, I always start with what I think is the hardest measure. It's right here. I call it the fade. So that's where we're going to start this lesson. Get your instrument ready to go. We'll start on F sharp, two on the D string for violins, violas, three for cellos, four for basses. So we're going to start with the two and just play F A. Try that again. Now I'm going to add D. Reset the bow. Try that again. Make sure you do a down bow, then an up bow, then a down bow. Together and go. We'll do that five times. That was one. That's two. Reset. Here we go. Three. Reset. 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 Notice I haven't added the next two notes yet because we can pretty easily do that right now. So we'll go F, A, D, E, F, your turn, ready, go. Good. Now let's add the beginning of the line to it. So repeat after me. We'll play three Fs and a rest. 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 Your turn, ready, go. Then we play the fade. Here we go. Now, I would pause the video and take some time to practice just that first line. Now that you're good at the first line, let's learn the second line. We'll say the names of the notes the first time. Here we go. G, 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 F, 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 E, E, F, E. That's a rest. A. Okay, the mistake that people make is they only play four G's instead of five. Make sure you play G, 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 G. Okay, if you want to try and play it this time, let's go for it. One, two, uh, here we go. Take some time and practice the second line. Now that you're done with that, let's do the third line. It's the same as the first line. Here we go. A one, two, a ready, go. Nice. Now we're on the last line, which starts the same. So let's go ahead and jump just to the hard part. We'll go to the end that starts with A. And play A, A, G, E D A A G D. Two open A's and then G. Here we go. That's really the hard part. If you can get through that, then we'll be good. Try that again. And go. Good. Let's add an E D this time. Ready? Go. Good. If you want to practice the song with an accompaniment, see one of the videos below for the full piano part.